Have you ever flown somewhere and seen the in-flight map showing the curved route your airplane was taking? You might wonder why would the plane take the seemingly longer pathway to reach the destination instead of flying a straight line from the departing point to the destined airport you are going to land. So what is the reason behind this? Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. In today's session we are going to discuss why airplanes take a curved path when flying. So sit back and keep watching this video till the end. Surprisingly, the reasons behind the phenomenon of curved path are relatively simple physics and mathematics. The Earth is a three-dimensional sphere, and because of the spherical shape, the circumference of the Earth is much greater around the equator than it is in higher or lower latitudes towards the poles. While we tend to recreate a flat map to represent the Earth, it doesn't reflect on the real condition of the planet. That's why when staring at a two-dimensional map, the route taken by flights could be perplexing as it doesn't take into account the round shape of the Earth. The Great Circle Route is a term used when airplanes fly around the circumference of the Earth and mostly noticed for long flights from US to Asia. Passengers might wonder why the planes fly over Alaska and Siberia rather than what will seem to be a shorter straight line. This is because the Earth revolves on its axis, and this condition forces the equator to stretch out and be wider. Though there are several theorists suggesting that the Earth is flat, the phenomenon of greater circle route proved that the Earth is in fact not flat. Hence, the curvature of Earth becomes a significant factor in routes the aircrafts take. Following the shape of the Earth, the airplanes thus take the flight routes which appear to be a curved path. If you take two strings with the same length and look at how the distance a great circle route can take you compared to a straight line route from one point to another, the experiment will show you that the string encircling the shape of the Earth or the great circle route could take you to farther journey than the other one. Thus, if we apply this logic to the flight path of an airplane, what we have been thinking to be a longer journey chosen by the pilot was actually the most reasonable short path to reach the destination when flying. On the other hand, flight paths are planned before aircraft take off based on the shortest and most efficient route, and they can even alter during flight due to weather, wind, and jet streams to mention a few variables. Another reason why aircraft may not take what appears to be a totally direct route is because of jet streams. Jet streams can have tailwinds of up to 200 miles per hour, which will get an aircraft to its destination much faster while using a lot less fuel. In contrast, if an aircraft is flying head-on into a 200 miles per hour wind, flight planners may consider alternate routes to escape the situation. So, now you have understood why the airplanes fly in a curved path rather than straight lines. If you have any suggestions or certain topics to discuss for the next videos, feel free to drop your comments below. That's all for today, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.